okay first a normal CT scan of chest in lung window and of course I want you to pay attention to lungs I am scrolling through the images so you can uh, see a normal pattern that's how normal lungs should look like on a CT scan of chest notice the air density within lungs notice the, the blood vessels that are passing through the lung parenchyma they're bigger towards the hilum and they are tapering and the branching off as we move towards the periphery now try and keep this normal appearance in mind both lungs both sides and I'll show you another CT scan in a minute another CT scan of chest and let me show you all the images and I'll get you to try and find out the, the pathology now you should see areas in both lungs that have a distinct reduction in attenuation or in simple words they are distinctly lucent or in very plain English they're darker than the surroundings especially if you go towards the inferior cuts so you'll see some normal lung parenchyma and you also have areas of ab abnormalities multiple air densities that are distinct that are dif you can differentiate them from the the normal lung parenchyma easily so what are these and also notice these distinct lucencies are predominantly in upper lobes how many of you can point out the boundary between upper and lower lobes if you can see there is an area there is there's a faint line here and also here this is oblique fissure which is uh, which can be sometimes very clear if the cut is at the right angle of the fissure in this case it is not at the right angle it is at an angle and that's why you see an a vascular area which is actually the oblique fissure this is lower lobe and this is upper lobe this is lower lobe and this is upper lobe so the the pathology is predominantly in upper lobes and what are these these areas of abnormally reduced attenuation are patchy areas of lung destruction the CT scan is a classic example of emphysema to be more precise centrilobular emphysema is smoking is the main culprit behind this particular type which is easily diagnosed on a CT scan especially on HRCT well this one is not uh, an HRCT but even in early stages you can diagnose emphysema with the help of HRCT high resolution CT scan of chest and this is diagnosed by the presence of multiple areas of air density that can be easily differentiated from surrounding lung parenchyma for those who do not know emphysema is defined as an unusual and irreversible enlargement of air spaces distal to the terminal bronchioles these shapes are created by permanent dam permanent damage to the alveolar walls which become big and big and become functionless and they become empty they become empty areas filled with air they are functionless they cannot exchange gases the condition in the smokers is thought to be a result of increased activity of phagocytes especially macrophages which eventually results in loss of elastic fibers and causes damage to the alveolar walls also mechanical stress as a result of frequent cuffing adds to the damage the classification is based on the part of the secondary pulmonary lobule the centrilobular emphysema is the most common type and is identified and classified by the air space distension in the central portion of lobule which of course is obvious by the name centrilobular emphysema can involve whole lung but it is predominantly affects the upper lobes as in this case I hope you learned something thank you very much